How y'all doing today? This is Brick Central Studios back here with another video. And today we're doing my review on the new 332nd Ahsoka Clone Trooper Battle Pack that is coming out August 1st in America. The set number 75359 has 108 pieces and came with four minifigures. This, like I said, the set is releasing August 1st. I do have it early. I found it at my local Walmart and I got uh, I picked up four that were in stock. And uh, yeah, I figured I'd review it on the channel for you guys before it comes out. So yeah, let's, uh, let's first dive into those minifigures. So up first, we do have the 332nd Clone Trooper that does not come with the uh, the blue jetpack. Of course, off the uh, the other two do come with a blue jetpack that came with the other uh, 501st Battle Pack that came out in 2020. Uh, as you obviously know, this one has the helmet holes, unlike the older one. Uh, this figure is not too, too bad. Obviously, the uh, the black printing on above his helmet piece here, the... Uh, this little unibrow thing here is not as big as what it looks like, obviously, in the boxes. But, uh, yeah, you get three of these of this form of the 332nd clone. Not too bad. Obviously, the older ones do look better. But, yeah, you get three of these guys. And, yeah, let's hop into Captain Vaughn. So, here is Captain Vaughn. Unfortunately, this minifigure is kind of lackluster. Really only comes with that printing on his chest that significant uh, that shows that he is Captain Vaughn. But, you know, other than that and the... Uh, yellow visor this clone is exactly the same besides although the black printing you do get that uh you get a jetpack back printing just like cody did but other than that this figure is basically the same as all the other 332nd clones so you know kind of lackluster to get this in this kind of battle pack especially when it's a named and a battle pack's not always the best to get but uh yes yeah, so definitely good though to add him to my collection and oh uh, yeah let's hop into that build so of course here you get this small little swamp speeder build that comes with the battle pack it does look, uh, you know, not too bad. It doesn't really make sense to have a Swamp Speeder on Mandalore, but, you know, it's just a battle pack build, so it doesn't really matter too, too much. But uh, it does look pretty good. It is a small little build. It does come with some couple really good pieces, and, uh, yeah, I don't mind it. It's not too, too bad. And it uh, also comes with this little uh, blaster cannon thing here, which I actually kind of like, a little, like, turret thing that you could set up for your battle pack. But, uh, yeah, I appreciate you guys coming out and watching this quick little review on the, uh, the new 332nd battle pack. I hope you guys, if you do enjoy, go ahead and pick some up on August 1st. But uh, until next time, guys, deuces.